So I am sitting here and I am talking with Patricia Harrison and Miss Patty um, was a CSEP participant and now is an employee of the Salvation Army Red Shield Kitchen. Patty, thank you for being with us today. And so um, basically, I want you to tell me what was it like for you when you came to CSEP? Um, I was really excited when I heard about it because I carried on to homelessness and I was living in a, a program of uh, transitional housing. I just was really stuck in a rut trying to get back to work and couldn't. Um, had been an administrative assistant for like seven or eight years. That ended and then it was like I, I couldn't get back in. You know, somebody my age would go in and apply and I might have all the skills that I needed. But if there was a 29-year-old or a 30-year-old sitting right next to me with the exact same skills, then nine times out of ten. Exactly. Right. So it was, it was pretty depressing. And then when I came to this program, I got put on the Salvation Army and, and it just changed everything. It changed my confidence. Awesome. Changed my, um, changed my belief that I could get back into the work field. Right. That I could do it again. Although it got a little scary there for a minute because I was on the program for quite some time. <laughs> I was beginning to think I wasn't going to get on. But, um, I and now you are. Yes. And, and what is your position? I am the uh, breakfast cook. You're the breakfast cook. cook, exactly. And what does that mean to you? Um, well, it means a lot. Uh, I cook for the people in the shelter. And, um, you know, I, it means a lot to me because I've been there, done that. And um, except that I didn't have a shelter that I was in, I lived on the streets, and uh, so it's real important to me. I, I think Salvation Army in the area, you know, from the city period, is feeds better than most other places. Um, they have a family park, their shelter, so the women that are here can be here with their children, some of the fathers too. Um, and I remember when I was raising my kids by myself, they didn't have that kind of thing.